So to take a little pressure off of the hip joint and to help mobilize it into external rotation, which is this type of position. So maybe you're somebody who is stuck in this position. You don't have that good external rotation of that hip. What we could do is we can create some hip or gapping within the joint of our hip. So what we'll do is we'll grab a band, we'll grab it really high up into the groin, we'll pull it up towards us and get this slinged up across the groin and we will shoulder walk all the way back until we feel that traction coming down. Now, if you want a little bit extra tension, you can just shoulder walk a little further back. Now what we'll do here is we'll take our, our, um, our leg here and we're going to cross it over the opposite leg, just like this right and you can just let that relax a little bit now once you're able to get into the, this position what you really want to do is not only let the band do the work you're not trying to provide any resistance remember this is a joint mobilization but what we could do here is do some anterior and posterior pelvic tilts just coming off and back and as you take a exhale or drop your pelvis here what you will notice is you'll feel that traction going down what's really great about this is that it helps disassociate or helps use the abdominals independently of the pelvis and as a result you get a dropping or more of a traction sensation onto that external rotation so this will help the joint capsule to externally rotate in this direction so you should try this uh, be able to hold this for a few sets, maybe 30 seconds without any hip pain. And then if you're able to do that, then you can just go through the ranges of motion of the pelvic tilt. If it's not enough, just shoulder walk back. And the more you walk back, the more pressure you'll get down as that hip or that band does the work for you. But this is a fantastic exercise and I'd highly recommend you give this a try.